Commence Operation Hobo. Hey, honey, you can't go inside the unit. <laughs> oh, my God. What? No. Oh, my God. Is that cheese or tuberculosis? No, no, no. Hold on. Don't, don't make them fall over. Sir, sir, you might just have a little problem. <laughs> There's always been a method to my madness. If they think you're nuts, you can slip through the gaps. <laughs> the others, they had no interest in this hobo unit. That's why I wanted it. Let's just hope my hobo clairvoyance pays off. Well, it's time to lose the disguise. Go back to the berry I knew and loved. Well, let's go on in. End of a long, hard day. So what I'm going to do is take it home, make some margaritas. And then it's time to get toasted. <clears throat> nothing, nothing. Aha. Uh -huh. I was hoping to have stumbled on a little bit of hobo erotica. Well, the bed frame's not actually bad. <laughs> it appears to be broken. I've seen nicer wares displayed under the freeway. All right, we're back at it. And this appears to be a sink and a rice cooker that absolutely... Oh, my God. It, not that, I mean, it's not rank or anything. I mean, it's just, I don't know what kind of oil it is. I'm only imagining it's, wait a minute. This isn't oil. This is that stuff for a Brazilian wax. Embarrassed here. Uh, got some weight to it. Oh, what have we? <laughs> It's old, and I don't know if it's a toy. This would come out of there, too. Looks like some old hacksaws, just from the looks of them and uh, the way they put this on here. And this is a pretty fancy wing nut, like myself. This one, I, I think it's got to be some early medical device, because it, it says, patent magnetoelectric machine for nervous diseases. I don't know whether to take this stuff to a doctor or carpenter. In my locker, I found what looked like to be an old medical device, along with some old hand saws. So I'm bringing these things to Dr. Tom Gibson of the Southern California Medical Museum to see if these things have any value. Dr. Gibson, I presume. Mm, absolutely. All right, this isn't going to hurt, is it, Doc? Maybe a little. Now, this is an electric device. It said it's for uh, nervous diseases. Do you which... have any nervous disorders? Well, yeah, too, too many to mention. This is a tooth key. It has exactly. nothing to do with that. It's for removing teeth. This is probably 200 years old. If you had a bad tooth, and they would hook that hook over it, and then you, you, you rock the tooth with this thing, and you, know, you broke all the ligaments that held it in place, and then when you got it pretty loose, then you could reach in with the force to pull it out. <laughs> you know, I, I opened it up, and this, this thing was in here, and that's why I thought it had something to do with it. You treated before you extracted the tooth. Electricity yanked the tooth. Yeah. In all these years, I'm taking Valium. OK, now these two saws could be quite old. Civil War, possibly? Much before that, I think. Uh, I thought the they were like farm instruments. Instruments could be used in your carpentry shop or in an amputation. Well, Doc, what kind of value would it have to, a, obviously, a collector? Because um, a real doctor wouldn't need it. Uh, this unit, because the box, it's in very good condition. 300 bucks. That's what I paid for the locker, so at least I'm, I'm, I'm even. Yeah. The tooth key, they call them. You don't see many below three to 350. What about the, um, the saws? This one is a bit cruder, so I would say more like 100 bucks on that one. And because I think this one may well have been an amputation saw, uh, $300. Well, 
Actually, that's not too bad. Not bad for a $300 investment. No. That locker looked like a hobo and smelled like a hobo. But guess what? It gold. Yeah. Hear me? Yeah. I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world!